Hey everybody, this is Brenda. Hope you all are having a good Saturday. Um, so, sorry about my voice. It's still a little um, horn sounding. So, uh, <laughs> uh, this is what we're going to make today. This is what we call a mini tag album. And I have mine as Christmas themed. So what I am going to do is hopefully show you how this is made, at least get halfway through it. I think we can possibly get all the way through it. And um, then um, hopefully we can get it done, but I am going to show you the basics and then you can go ahead and decorate as you please. Um, this, is, this has the tags. I did put a little decoration on the front and um, inside it has the tags, but you can uh, decorate the inside with maybe some coffee dyed paper for journaling, or you can just journal on the tags, or you can put uh, pictures, whatever you would like to do. I am going to show you the basics and then you can do what you want with the rest of it. But these are so cute for happy mail, stocking stuffers, um, gift giving. I just think they're adorable. So let's get with it. I'm going to set this off to the side. So what you're going to need, um, let me explain something first. <laughs> okay, the original that I saw on YouTube um, had six pages. One, two, three, four, five, six six uh, pages to it. I stuck on this, uh, just this blank page here because I wanted like a top, like cover page. So I'm going to do the six, but if you want a top page like this, then you can just add that on to decorate and everything. It's up to you how you want to do it. You, the six pages, like you can have something on this, the first page, automatically that is decoratable. Is that a word? <laughs> okay, let me set this aside. So I am going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you need six sheets of paper and you wanna cut your six sheets of paper down to four and three quarters by eight and a half. Okay, four and three quarters by eight and a half, and you need six sheets. They don't have to be double-sided because uh, the inside um, is not going to show. So if you have non-double-sided paper, that's fine. Okay, so once you get your six sheets, we are going to get our scoreboard. Okay. So with sheet number one, we are going to put it on our scoreboard eight, at the eight and a half length. We are going to score at four. And we're going to do the same thing with each one of these. So we're going to score at four. And we're going to score at eight. We are going to turn once and score at three quarters. So four, eight, turn once, three quarters. So I'm going to do that again. Actually, I'm going to do it six times. Four, eight, Turn. Now, when I do my turning, if, and I should have said this earlier, if you have directional paper, okay, you want your uh, three quarters inch score mark at the bottom of your directional paper. If you don't have directional, doesn't matter which way you turn it. So, number three, we're going to score at four. Eight, turn, 
and three quarters. Let's see, these are done. These are not done. Four, eight, three quarters. Four, eight. Oh, that one went right off the road. And three quarters. I don't know who was driving that time, but it went crazy. Four, eight. Turn once and three quarters. And we are done with our scoreboard. So let's put that aside. Okay, now, let's see if we can, oh gosh, I don't know if we can see this or not. Mm. Oh, excuse me, just a minute. Just trying to get this so I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but okay. On one of the corners where your scoreboard, where your score lines cross over and it's a little, the little uh, rectangle in one of the corners here. And it's only on, it's only in one corner. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. It's just a little rectangle, okay? On this little rectangle, on the right side, we are going to cut just beyond the score line up to the um, three quarter inch score line, okay? So just on the right side of it. So let's do that. Up to the score line, okay? So we have that. On the other side of this, we are going to cut on this little line here, but we're going to go at a little angle and meet right where we uh, went to before. So you have a little angle on this side. We are going to do this to all the sheets. So the right side cut up straight, the left side cut at an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on, whoa, this one's gonna be fun. This is the one where we drove crazy on. Straight at an angle. Straight at an angle. Some of these are so hard to see with this paper. Straight at an angle. Straight at an angle. One more, I hope. <laughs> Let's go straight. And at an angle. And that is all six. Get rid of my mess here. Okay, so we have all six pieces with the little corner over here cut out, okay? Now the next thing we're going to do is some gluing. Okay, so this side here that has the little, um, the little score mark, this is going to be turned in just like this, okay? Then we are going to glue I got some tacky glue here. 
I'm running pretty low on my art glitter glue, so I'm going to try to use this. We'll see what happens. Okay, so on that little tab that we folded in, we are going to glue that little tab, okay? And then on this side here, we're going to glue right along the line, the bottom line that we scored at. And then we're going to glue all this part right in up to the middle score line. So yeah, I'm, I'm holding it at an angle so I can see. I'm going right along, right under the score line there. And then I'm going all the way over to the score line, the middle score line. And this is what you'll have. So then you want to go to the score line in the middle. And what we want to do is glue it closed like a book. Okay, as even as you can get it. And we are going to go ahead and glue them all into what is a little pocket. Okay, so this will all be glued and you'll have a little pocket. All six of them. There's one. Here's the second one. I don't know about this Eileen's glue. It's, I guess it's the tip that's not too, too um, fun to work with. I mean, the glue is fine, but the tip is, I don't know. So I'm going to glue along. I can't see. I'm going to glue along the bottom, and then I'm just going to fill that all in. And we are going to fold in the middle and fold it right together just like that okay there's two and we have our little pocket number three I guess it's better if I squeeze with all my might. And then on the side here, right under the line, if you can see it and all that area gets glued in. Okay. Close it down into as straight as you can. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to, uh, gosh, that glue goes everywhere. If you didn't want to make turn it into a little book, I think these would make cute little pockets too for um, tags or what, whatever you would want to put in them. Okay. Here we go. This is number three. There we go. So I hope you all are having a good weekend. Um, I'm still trying to get over this mess, but I feel a whole lot better. But it's still, you know, it's hanging on. I still feel like a I'm blowing a horn every time I try to talk. <sighs> Oops. Well, that one wasn't very straight. Trying to hurry. Don't hurry. You don't have to hurry. We got plenty of time. <sighs> and next one. <clears throat> I 
my um my son I found out a few minutes ago has I guess been called to I don't know if I don't know how that works here but um he got this jury duty notice and I went oh my jury duty you know that's something I have never had to do knock on wood I don't want to do it even though I know it's the patriotic thing to do I just am not uh I don't know I don't think I'm cut out for anything like that like jury duty I don't know bless you all that can sit through it and um have an open mind and can um can, what am I trying to say? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I did this. I'm like, what is wrong with this? And I was doing it backwards. That's what's wrong with it. Those of you that have done, my husband has done jury duty. He did very well. Um, it was a murder trial. So um, they did find the person guilty and I'm glad they did because I definitely think he did it but oh my goodness I just can't imagine I just can't imagine doing it I don't know why I just I don't want no part of it and I know it's the right thing to do but I just um I think I would just get too involved you're supposed to have an open mind, and I don't know. I don't know if my son, you know, if, if he will get called in or not. I, like I said, I don't know how it works here. So, anyway, we are all glued. We have all our pockets glued. Okay. Now. <sighs> Sorry, just looking to see what I should do next. I think next what we need to do, first I want to cut this a little bit. This is like real crooked, so I'm just going to trim it, clean it up a little. And the next thing we need to do is, sorry, at the bottom here, where you have the score line at the bottom and it is glued right down here, we need to punch two little holes. So what we are going to do is, um, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I want to, what we need to do is go an inch in on either side. So I think we can use our little, um, a little mat. Am I in focus? I don't even know if I'm in focus here. Okay, so we're going to put it um, in the square and we're going to count one half and one half and that's an inch right there. So we're going to put a dot on that inch on this side. Can you see? <laughs> and then we're going to come over on this side and count half an inch, half an inch, one dot right here. And that's an inch on that side. Now, you probably can't see my holes, but I know I think I can see them. So we're going to take our, <clears throat> crop, our cropodile or whatever you have for um, to make holes. And let's see. I think it's on. I'm on the large one. I'm on the large hole maker, and I think it's one, two, three, four lines in. I have my little thing hooked on, uh, slid to the fourth line in. And let me check that and see if it's correct. Yes. So the fourth line in, and I see where my hole is, and you make a hole. Same on the other side. Check where your hole is and make a hole there. <laughs> so 
So you have our, we have our two holes in this one. And then what I do is just use this for the template and just go ahead and put your holes in all six. Just like so. Okay. That's the only thing I complain about this uh, hole punch is the little papers don't want to come out after you punch. Okay, so here we go. One there. Oh. Sorry, guys. And one here. Again. Well, this could take a while playing with this hole punch. Okay. Make sure you are doing it at the bottom where the, um, where the, uh, Bottom score line is. One more to go. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's try that again. There's the one. And we fight, but it's the last time I think we have to fight. And there's two. Yay! All right. We have all our holes. Okay. Now, what you need to do now is find out how you want this uh, to go. I want this as my back one. And then I think I want maybe this one and this one. No, I think I want this one to go here and this one to go here. Then the snowman and then the pretty snowflakes. So that, that's how I want mine to go. In order to hold these together, you can use the little rings. I don't know if I have any. Let's see if I have some rings. <clears throat> these here, I think. You can use these to hold them together, the little binder rings. Those would be cute. Like so. Okay, you can use those or like I did over here, which is what I want to do. You can use ribbon and tie it like that. I prefer the ribbon, although these would, you know, these would be cute also. So whatever you decide. Okay. <clears throat> so now we need to punch holes 
And I'm going to try to keep these in order. We need to punch holes at the top, our little thumb holes. I got my half, one and a half inch um, hole punch, and I want it all the same about in the middle. So I am going to go to the two inch mark and put my little mark there because it's four inches inches I'm doing the two inch mark and then I am going to put my hole punch where the mark is and punch now after you get the first one done you can use okay you can either draw your hole like this for the other ones and then punch or you can just use that as your template and punch the rest of them whatever you feel comfortable doing is um, what you need to do. And of course, I mixed them up again, but I think I know how I want them. There we go. All thumb punched, or I should say thumb hole punched. So that was my last one, and then this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And that's how I want mine. All punched, and now I think what we need to do now is make our tags to go inside. Our little tags, and these will fit right in perfectly. So what we need to do is get some white or vanilla cardstock. I got two sheets here. And and um, I am going to cut to it once, I think, just to make it a little quicker, a little easier. I get everything out of my way here. So we want to cut these at, <clears throat> let's see, I think we want them at three and three quarters by four. So I've got two sheets here of the vanilla card stock. I'm going to go three and three quarters. Make sure that's right. Okay, three and three quarters. And I'm gonna do that twice. Okay, keep this, you never know what you may need it for. And then I am going to go four. And four. And you can only do that twice. So this is, oh, sorry, this is, um, I will keep that for something else. So four. And four once again, and that hopefully should be plenty for our little inserts. Okay, now I have a template here that I made um, to cut my corners. 
if you don't have a template, all you need to do here is, let's see, take your card, make sure you're on the four inch side, okay? Your little, your little half inch um, mark, you have one on this side and one on this side. At the little half inch mark, you mark a little pencil mark there on the top, a little pencil mark there on the side right here. Then turn it over, line it up. A little mark there and a little mark there. Then, all you need to do is the two little marks. You want to take your scissors and go and cut from the first mark to the second. Straight line. Turn over. First mark to the second. And there you have your corners. Okay. Now for the rest of them, all you need to do is use it as your template. So I am going to go ahead and do the rest of the six tags. And just use my template. Sometimes it's hard to see through the, with these uh, with this light I have. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, and if I count this one, I have six. Okay, so these will slide right in your little pockets, and the reason we have the little uh, line at the bottom here is so they will stay flush just like that okay and of course as you can tell we need to put our little hole at the top so what you want to do is again find the middle i have a tim holtz ruler here So if I go, let's see, what is it? Four, is it four and one eighth, I think, on each side? That makes it right in the middle, right here. So again, I think we can use our um, our large hole maker with the crocodile. I think we can just keep it just, yes. Right where we already had it um, measured, we can just keep it right there. And I will use this as the template. And make my holes. And I did them all at once. Yay. Okay. Okay, now before we put these together, okay, the purpose of this little uh, uh, score mark at the bottom was to, when we had this tied, 
we can, um, uh, it's like a spine, okay? So what I did was sort of bend these up a little before I, I probably got these all mixed up again, but I'll fix them again. So what I do is bend on that line a little bit so it's bendable when we go to put it together, okay? Because if you wait until after you tie it, it's um, a little more difficult to get that line bent to where it needs to go. So this is my my last page. And then I think it was this one, this one. This one, this one, and this one. <laughs> Okay, so now all we have to do is tie our little, um, tie our little, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I just lost it completely, I, let, I just drew a blank. So, I think for this I'm trying to think do I want to um use this or I think I I have some ribbon I can use I think <clears throat> Oh, that would be pretty. How about this? This is some pretty green velvet. Well, actually, it's what I used on these right here. I wonder if, if I can get that through, though. I have a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a threader on order because it's so hard to get these some of these things through. There, okay. So I went down through the, the top hole and then I'm going to come up through this one. I know it's going, it's making a mess, but um, hopefully I can, I mean, I'll be able to fix the, the end of the ribbon once I get it through. There, and I want it to be on the right side. and I want lots to tie. Come on, that should be enough. Okay. So once you get your ribbon through, all you have to do is give it a nice little bow tie. This won't straighten out for some reason. Okay. Probably picked the wrong ribbon, but I'm going with it. I'll wrestle with it until I have it the way I want it. Okay, I want the velvet side out. Okay. You guys, I will probably change this ribbon afterwards. Um, 
I kind of like, I kind of think I'll want something else. So I'm going to just deal with it now instead of making you guys mess with it with me. And I am going to cut it a slant. Okay. And then that needs to be bent. Okay. And we are going to put our little cards right in each pocket. Three. Four, five, six. Okay, there we have it. We have our little pockets. We have our pockets together. Um, we have each page with a tag. And from here, I leave it up to you guys to decorate as you please. Like I said on this one, I put on an extra um, page because I wanted just something um, that I could decorate. And you also can put your little uh, ribbon or string or whatever on your little uh, tags. So I helped you with the base. It's up to you to decorate at your heart's content how you want it to look after that. So guys, I hope I explained this to you in good terms <clears throat> so you could follow along. Um, I think those are so cute to add to your Christmas makes. <clears throat> Um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. You guys um, stay safe, stay healthy. Don't get this that I have, please. I pray you don't. And um, I will see you all in the next video. And happy crafting. Bye-bye.